summer is just around the corner. Yay! Yes. And that means it's time to learn some new recipes for meals from the grill. Perfect for the family to enjoy together. And with Memorial Day coming up, we're going to need something delish to eat. So luckily, we are joined by our friend, Chef Jernard. Yes. Chef, you always have something yes. great. Having you on DBL, you always have something great to cook. Let us know. We're about to make a barbecue scallop summer salad. Ooh. Really good, really light and refreshing. And see, that surprises me, Chef, because I'm thinking Memorial Day burgers, hot dogs. But, you know, you're going to step it up with the salads. Talk to us. What are you making today? All right, so you want to start off with your scallops here. I've already added some olive oil to my cast iron skillet. And the best thing about this recipe, you guys can do it in the comfort of your home or your grill. So whether or not if it's rain, sleet, or snow, the barbecue must go. So we start <laughs> off first by seasoning our scallops with a look. Cracked black pepper, smoked paprika, a little sea salt. So all you need is simple, your scallop. We got some arugula here. We got barbecue sauce because we're going to make a barbecue vinaigrette. Yes, sir. We got some nice good roasted corn. You can roast this in the skillet yes. or on the grill to get that nice good smoke flavor. And a lot of people, it's really easy too. When cutting corn, I always say get fresh corn, grill it, sear it, whatever you want to do, and get you a nice uh, good sharp knife. And you see how simple that is, yeah, guys? Yeah. Now we That's got summer. Our cool little kernels. Nice good as roasted. So now that we got our corn, we got our corn already shut. So we got we're gonna talk about that vinaigrette dressing here. So first we start off with our barbecue sauce. Now you know I like mine that smoky whiskey river. Okay. We're gonna give these scallops a good little turn too. We're gonna add in Worcestershire sauce. Nice wet. It's hard to say that. In. Worcestershire. That's good. I well like said. <laughs> you say it fast. <laughs> yeah. We got brown sugar. We're going to add in some minced ginger, guys. That minced ginger really adds the acidity, brings out the flavors. We got here rice wine vinegar. Yum. Now we got those. And then, of course, we're adding olive oil to it. Because what we're making, we're making a barbecue vinaigrette dressing okay. for the salad. It's really festive. It plays into it. It's nice and refreshing because, you know, the barbecue, around the barbecue table, the place now, they look so different. You know, we know we got our ribs, we got our steaks, we got all of the plethora of things. Hot dogs, burgers, like you said, Al. But what about the salad? Mm. It's about kicking them up or not. So, as you can see here, check it out. That, that sauce looks is coming so good. Together. Okay, so Chef, yes, now that the dressing I'm sorry, is ready. I'm almost like reaching. I know, he like handed it to us, please. Now that the dressing is ready, what are you gonna do next? Now that it's together, we're gonna add in our arugula right uh, on top of the dressing. Got it. We're gonna fold in our roasted corn. We have some nice good edamame, which is really good. Very, super food. We're gonna add in our edamame. We got cherry tomatoes. Yum. We're gonna fold those in. Then we got some nice good uh, fresh mint. Mint perfect for salads and perfect for drinks. Yes. So when you got it, don't worry about buying a lot of them. You'll figure out how to use it. So check it out here. Yum. Give it a nice, good toss. Bring oh, look how colorful that, that looks. Yes, Vi vibrant, so yeah. vibrant. So now that we have those colors together here, now it's time to just go ahead and add it right into your bowl. And you know, you can make your salad as big as you desire. Then once you do that, see, I already got some scallops already oh, ready wow. for you. We Look just at that some all come together. Right come on. Now we're going to sit them right there. Oh. Now that we have those, I always say, finish it off with a little more. If you got extra barbecue, finish it off with a little drip barbecue. Yum. A little bit seasoning. More lime, guys. That is lime. Yes. is key during the summer. That looks so good. I bet the scallops, yeah, with the burnt, uh, the roasted corn, too, that tastes like summer to me, man. Yes. Oh, Chef Bernard. Chef. Moist bringing those flavors in. That's what it's about. And you know, I cook like this every Wednesday on my show, New Soul Kitchen on Cleo TV. So not only do I cook like this at home, I'm giving those tips and tricks on TV. And these recipes are in my cookbook, Southern Inspired. Yes. So, if you're smart, you will follow okay. Chef Gennard. You have to. He's such a good follow. Chef Gennard, yes. thank you so much for sharing this delish delicious recipe that is also outside of the box that I hadn't thought of. To our viewers, as he said, you can see the full recipe on our website. But make sure to follow Chef on social at Chef Gennard to check out all and of the... And watch him on Clio TV on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. What a plethora of wonderful things he's doing. Chef, thank you so much. We appreciate you.